What's in a name? Today I wanted to talk to you about our company name. It's a virus. Before the COVID situation, it was already a bit of a controversial name, but of course the COVID situation made that a bit more interesting. Um, so today I want to uh, take some time to explain where our name uh, came from. So during my time as a student, I had a small company. I sold t-shirts online. So I did the design of the shirts myself, the print, um, I did the web shop and I did marketing and everything else, uh, which was really cool. I learned, um, I learned a lot, uh, of course, out of it. Um, and the ways I did marketing was via social media, Hives. It was uh, a Dutch social media platform back then, a long time ago, 2006, 2007. Uh, and via search engine optimization. And remember that uh, digital marketing was really uh, in its infancy at uh, that moment. So after I graduated, I also did technical work for uh, other companies. I did a lot of work for um, the university I graduated from. And then out of the blue, a friend called me. He said, Jochem, I have a, a big company who's looking for someone uh, to roll out their European e-commerce platform. Um, it was a pretty well-known company um, and they needed everything from technical realization to marketing. This opportunity fit perfectly with my experience back then because it was a kind of a holistic approach where technology, design, strategy, uh, marketing, it all played uh, a part. Um, so I thought, why not make a tailor-made proposition, especially for this opportunity, because if I am able to win this, it's going to be really, uh, uh, really cool. Out of the briefing from this company, it became pretty clear what they were looking for. They said, okay, we are looking for viral marketing, whatever it means. Uh, of course, it's a buzzword, but uh, that's how uh, there was an important aspect of uh, their, their briefing. Um, and of course, doing such a thing yourself for a while, you notice that um, one, two things are uh, really important. First, the basics should be great. I mean, if the design sucks, uh, nobody will uh, use it. If your uh, tech is bad, it will catch up to you really, really soon. Um, so the DNA, basically of whatever you want to spread out, the, the DNA of your message uh, should be well designed in terms of technology, communication, design, everything should be uh, in place. Because after that, if you set these parameters right, spreading the message will become much easier. After a bit of thinking, um, yeah, I came up with the idea, why not just name the entire concept for this proposition, it's a virus, because what you're looking for is something that will go viral. Here you go. So, um, I made uh, the website, I uh, did the pitch, and I won. Um, so, out of there, suddenly, um, the company that I already had, um, had a totally different name. Um, but I felt really comfortable with it. Um, because of one big reason as well, I think, uh, so two reasons. The first reason is of course the, the message, uh, it still stands out today. If, the, if you're set the DNA of whatever you are doing right, design-wise uh, and technology-wise, uh, marketing it will be much more uh, efficient, right? So spreading your virus will become uh, easier for you. So, that message still stands. Uh, and the other major important thing is, once you've heard it, uh, you will never ever uh, forget it, right? Most people are like, what, what is your, it's a virus? Yes, and I know if they ask me what, this is the time where, uh, yeah, my company name is imprinted in their brains. So uh, in many ways, it's still a good name. And even now, um, uh, we experience no, and we still grow as a company during this time. So uh, I'm happy. I don't think we'll change. Cheers.